when, it, when Australia took stock of what 36 years looked like and what was happening in all of those countries and in all of those towns and in all the cities and in all of our homes and in all of our communities, we understood that it needed to continue and that we understood that the work that we have done and the work that is still to do deserves recognition and it needs a bold step forward. And that's what the Fueling the Front Lines campaign is. It's a bold step to say that an organization that is taking capital where it isn't and putting it where it belongs can claim that space and raise that money and make it possible. It's a three year, $20 million campaign to say that the most grassroots and the most nascent organizations deserve to survive, that the artists who bring our lives into our consciousness and who fuel us in a way that we wouldn't otherwise know possible deserve to make their work, that somebody in Bosnia deserves to be connected to somebody in Brooklyn, that an organization deserves to, to be supported for 11 years, and not with project funding, but with unrestricted funds. Because quite frankly, I don't know what projects are gonna get done if you can't keep the lights on. And that we're not gonna ask you to prove the work that you've done. We're gonna sit with you and say, what is the outcome you're after? What are the steps to get there and how can we help make that happen? That's a movement. That's what's possible. That's what we get to do. We are going to be in multiple cities having conversations just like this one. We chose Chicago as the first location because of the magnitude and breadth of the work that you've managed to accomplish, the way that you've come to know yourselves, and the commitment to bringing not only the people who've come before, but the people who are yet to come forward. That's a stunning prospect, and everybody isn't always able to understand that that's a necessity. And we understand that Chicago actually can do that, and you can look around the room and know that to be true because that's how you're living your lives. So, thank you for welcoming us into your home. There, a lot of people help make this happen. Um, I want to acknowledge all the honorees in their work. I want to acknowledge all the people who volunteered um, for, to help make this night happen. Um, you, know, you know who you are. I want to tell you that right now, to date, we've raised $62,000. Oh, wow. And I know we can raise more this evening. So this is that part where I ask you to think about the, how meaningful the work that you already know that we value and the work that's yet to come is. And I want you to think about what is a meaningful gift to you because the truth is whether you're giving us $5 or $500,000 that we understand that, that, that you have a place at the table. We believe that all of us together, there's no way that Australia could be here for this long if somebody didn't write us that $5 check every month and say, you're the only ones. And the truth is, and it's, I'm proud of it, but it's also insane, we are still the only ones. And if we don't make it happen, who will? So, I have uh, three requests of you. Decide what is a meaningful gift to you that you can make on uh, a regular basis to Australia and make that gift. And know that you're not only um, fueling the work that happens in your town, but you're connecting the dots between what's happening in this one and every other one around the globe, because that's where we intend to be. You're also saying that you believe that an organization can um, boldly be radical and connect all of the letters in the queer alphabet soup and say, we are not anathema to each other. We are our brothers and our sisters, and we belong uh, together in one. Uh, coalition of possibility. I want you to think about who should be sitting next to you who isn't here. I want you to tell them about us and I want you to make an introduction and we're going to come back. 
and I want to make sure that they're sitting next to you the next time we come here. I want you to write to us, and I want you to sign our mailing list. There's staff out there. Um, they have all of our information. There's information at your table. Make sure that we are in contact with you, and make sure that we are in contact with the people who you hold dear, so that we can continue to fuel this work. And then the third ask I have of you is to just not stop doing what you're already doing. Because I can't even tell you, I, I, last year I flew 150,000 miles, and I hate flying, but I really like landing. <laughs> and I can't even tell you what it's meant to get here, and people are like, hey Bob, I mean, I know you all don't know me, you're like, hey Bob, <laughs> this is what we're doing. The pride that you have for the work that you're doing and in each other is so astounding. And I can't tell you how landed I have felt here these last couple of days and, and how meaningful that is to me to know that uh, we are connected, that we have a home with each other and that this notion that uh, we can in fact forge the future that we believe in that isn't already written that isn't storybook, that isn't dictated by the state, that is in fact furious in its demand of possibility. That I, I'll get on another plane, I'll get on 12 more, I'll get on 1200 more, because that's the whole point. And that's actually, I work, get to work in service of this collective vision. And so I hope you understand how many people you are holding by virtue of coming together. And so, more than anything else, I thank you. So, thank you for having us. Thank you for uh, participating and bringing your people forward and letting us honor your incredible citizens. And um, I hope that you spend the rest of the evening with us. Please hit me up and all the rest of the staff. There's some incredible staff here. Australia is made up of the most crazy amalgam of dedicated people in the entire world. Some of them are here after. Graham and Michelle and Amy and our incredible host committee uh, for, for having us. So um, please um, drink, eat, and be merry, and come talk to us, and, and, and tell us what matters to you. So have a beautiful evening.